Right, boys. So, I know that I mentioned that we'd be doing another Great Mobile Games episode this week. Unfortunately, the one that I had in mind uh, seems to be a lot longer than I remember it being. I'm only around about two-thirds of the way through recording and writing. So, we will have that for you next week. But as for this week, I've decided to go for the ultimate dog shit idea of writing the letters of the English alphabet. And if you don't like that kind of content, then I, I, I sincerely apologise and you're completely right in your opinion because this is bullshit. But, regardless, I, I said I would upload something this weekend. This is the weekend. This is what we're doing. We're, we're writing. And we're starting with letter E. First and foremost, we're going to do them in order, right? Letter E. I, I, I like letter E, right? Letter E is a good letter. It's, it's number one. It's right there. It's right at the front. It's, it's top dog. It, at least nu numerically, chronologically speaking, it's, it's top dog, right? It, it goes, it's ear tier, right? You can't disagree with ear being ear tier, right? It's, it's ear class, right? And the other thing, the thing I love about the letter ear, right? Not just that it's an upside down V, but it's structurally sound. You see this little beam here, right? That's that's good structuring, right? I, I'm no architect, ear architect, right? Brilliant. It, it fits into so many good words and it's structurally sound. You've got words like acronym, right? Agile, right? It's just, yeah, I'm, I'm down for ear. Ear goes in ear to ear. No questions about it. B. I'm a I'm a little more stuck with B. See, B's not brilliant. B's B's not E. It's definitely not E tier. B might be B tier. And no, we're not gonna just go E in E, B in B, C in C. That, that that's not the meme, right? We take the alphabet very seriously over here, right? B though, it's just it's just a B in it. Nobody Nobody sits there and, and thinks B is their favourite letter. Is it maybe if you call Brian or Boyce? It's something like that, maybe. But I mean I've met I've met Bradleys. Most Bradleys I know. They don't they don't like their name. And it might be because it begins with a B. Maybe most Brian's don't like their name either. Now with that being said though, it's not awful. It's it's certainly not like you, right? I think B's very average. I really do. It's it's, there's just something about it, and I know the font makes a big difference. Obviously, we're we're using Times New Roman. I would have preferred to have used Arial. You know, just got them as classic and basic bitch as possible, just so that we were truly written the alphabet. The font does count. The font makes difference. Let's take T for example, right? It, with having the little typography flicky things on the end that I'm not experienced enough to tell you what they actually are. I know there is a word for them. Don't know what it is. These things, they, they change it up, right? Q, my boy Q, right? We'll get, we'll get to Q. We'll get to these things, right? Either way, the premise of this video, the, 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 shit, <laughs> fucking am I right? Yeah, the premise of the video, uh, alphabet. We're gonna do the. Uh, I, I, it's worth pointing out that I'm, I'm doing this live. I'm, I'm recording this live, so <laughs> I might just fuck up what I'm saying every now and again. Don't don't pay it any mind, right? Let's just accept it. B's in C tier. B is average. B's a basic bitch, right? C, on the other hand, right? I don't normally like C. I don't. No, normally, normally C's just, it's just a curve in it. Like O's not even that great. And C's just an O with a chunk missing. And But this C... Right, the Times New Roman C, the Times New Roman, just, just, just that little, that little point at the end, I don't know, gives it something, the little swish with the flick and it gets thicker, it works, compared to some of the other letters in here, it, it does fit that Times New Roman font a little better. Normally I'd put C and D here, Times New Roman C, I'll give it C to you, right, I'll give it C to you. D, D, unlike B, B's just got too much. B's B's got too much of that. I really like P, but they decided to add. It's like they took a P, added a D. There's B, right? But D on its own, the OG vanilla, just standard D. I like it. 
right? We've got, we're going B tier with it. I don't think it's as good as A, but D still maintains them structurally sound properties. You know, it's it's got the little curl. It's it, It's got the pillar to keep them up, you know? Yes, B does as well. It's just doubling up on those. Too much, too fancy, man. Just stay in your lane, right? D, D, D ain't about that. D's got the the one nice curve. It's got the structural soundness. It's good. I'm I'm okay with it. It's not E, but it's B. I might be with that. E, E on the other hand, I don't like E. Normal E's kind of fine with, but this E, Times New Roman E, it's just it's just too edgy. It's, it's D tier. I'm not in it. it. It's not it's not F. There's some things in here that are definitely F, right? Hint, hint. But E, it, it, E's just trying too hard, you know? Like, it, it, it's like it looked at an F. Let's look at F, right? F, E to you. That, that, that is a cool fucking letter, right? It is. You, you can't look at that and tell me that that doesn't look cool, right? But the E saw the F and was like, yeah, I know F's cool. I'm going to copy that and then kicked its front legs out. And it just went too far. It's trying too hard. It, it it wants to be cool and it's not. It's just edgy, right? It's, no, not having it. G, my main man G, straight up, S tier, no arguments, no nothing. I love a fucking G. Anybody who knows me knows G and one other in this list that we'll get to is one of my favourite fucking letters. And I, because you've got to think, right? <laughs> this probably will come as a surprise to you, actually. But this isn't the first time I've ranked the alphabet. Me and the boys sat and ranked the alphabet once before, before we played a gig. And G was, alongside one other, I was determined, adamant, that we were, that they were the S tier. No others. A couple of the others I was lenient on. G, S tier. It's got the nice curl. It's got the little flick. Now, Times New Roman G, not that great. Not not in comparison to some other Gs out there. I like the ones where the, the little post here comes down a little more. But that G, still good enough. Still S tier. We're not taking it out. H. H is still A tier, man. H is still A tier. The thing about H, right, it's got that structural soundness of the year. It, it's, it's got the two pillars. It's got the post, right? And the wonderful thing about H, right, is you can put other letters on top of it, right? Let's just swap this around a second, right? Pop that there. D fits on top of that. And it's going to maintain that. That's going to balance it. It's got great balancing properties. Yes, E is structurally sound. H is structurally sound. And it's got great balancing properties. You can build upon a H, right? But if we were to get into our next letter, right, of I, and you put another letter on top of I, it doesn't work. It, that, that's top heavy. Mate. That, that, that's just not going to work at all. I, shit, right? F to you. It's a line. It's just a pillar. It's... I mean, I suppose you could argue it's structurally sound. I mean, it's just a pillar. It stands up. But, it, I mean, look at that. The I, the E sitting on it just doesn't... Nah, it's it's imbalanced. It's It, it doesn't work. It's, it's no H. H knows what it's doing. H looked at I, was like, yeah, all right. But if you do this and connect them, right? Wow. Fucking chef's kiss when it comes to H, right? G. Normally, I don't find Gs too bad. I, I haven't really got a problem with Gs. Gs would normally be maybe even B to you. I've seen some good-looking Gs out there, man. Like, some Gs can really hit into the B tier, but the Times New Roman G? Nah. I'm not about it. Wh whatever this shit is down here, and the top not being stretched long enough, nah. Nah. It, I would argue it's even worse than an I. You know what? It It, it is... Is it is it good enough to put I in D? Yeah, yeah, you know what? Yeah, yeah. G G is straight up F. I is a lot better than G, even though I is fuck all. G is still significantly worse. K. I want to like K, right? I really do. I I want to, but it's just, the problem with K is right. Normal K maybe it's not that big of a deal. This time's new Roman K. It's suffering from E syndrome. And it's just trying to be too edgy. It's It's got the exact same problem. It's too pointy. It's too sharp. It's it's just... 
it's trying to be cool. It's it's trying to be cool with a key, like that kind of cool where it's just it's just shit, right? It's the it's the quick scope sixty nine four twenty triple X fucking guy on fucking Xbox Live. You know you know the type of person I'm on about, right? Who yeah okay he's got a bit of skill he's got a bit of talent. But the name and everything else and everything about the fucking personality is just so off-putting. Nah. Not having it. Too edgy. I'm I'm gonna argue. I'm gonna argue F. Because I think that's even edgier than E. I think it's... it's uh, nah. I'm not having it. L. Everybody looks at an L. Right? Everybody. You, you don't tell me otherwise. You knew L was going C to you. You were looking at that L... And you were like, yeah, basic, standard. Nothing wrong with it. Nothing spe- It's better than an I, 100%. It's, it's got even more structural support, right? But it's definitely not B tier, right? Or is it? Because I look at an L, right? And I think L knows. L's humble about it. Like, L knows it's nothing special. It's not trying. It's just being itself. And I think anything that can, anything in this world that is comfortable with itself that's cool, man. Everybody knows that's cool. Look at the coolest people you know. The coolest people you know are the people that don't give a fuck about what others think and just be themselves. No matter who you are, no matter what you're interested in or whatever it is, if you're being yourself and you're, you're just expressing yourself in a true natural way that you are, that's cool as shit, man. That's punk as fuck. And L, even though L looks bland, L's punk as fuck. L gets bonus points from me. I got massive respect for that kind of shit. Stay humble, right? L's humble, L knows, L knows really, on paper, on paper, L's C, right, of course, L knows everyone looks at him as C, but that's what makes L B to you, 100%, M, you know what, so some M's I quite like, but this M, the Times New Roman M, it's got some dinky little stick thing here, the dinky one there, I'm just, I'm just not about it, there's not even too much I can really say about it, it's, it's just trying hard, you know what I mean? Like, it's, it's trying too hard to fit into the alphabet. It, even if you look at the words, right? Because the words are important, right? I mean, if you look at G, right? You've got garnish, grandiose, right? G's up there. G knows where it sits. You look at M, what you got? Monopoly? Yeah, that's... You know what? Monopoly's fairly cool. But you've got, you've got other things. You've got, like, Marlborough, right? Menagerie, right? Manitoire, I think that's French. I don't even think that's a real fucking word. Either way, those are the type of words that come to mind when I think of M. And all of those words are just... They're stuck up. You know what I mean by that? They're, they're, they're stuck up. They're just... They're, they're, they're posh. But they're not actually posh. They're, they're, what's, what's that word? It's fucking... Mutton in lamb's clothing. Or some shit like that. You know what I mean? That's, that's what I see when I see an M. It wants to be up here. And it, it's acting all classy. And it's just not... It, it's no nah. whereas the others are edgy trying too hard in an edgy way M's trying too hard in a fancy way all backfiring you can never try too hard look at L man L got bonus points for not trying that's that's how you do it N N on the other hand I mean it, it's definitely not trying as hard as M the N's the N's got a bit to it as well I think N is going to be C tier it, it's nothing too special it's not too over but I, I think this little flick here the way the thickness comes down, the thickness to the thin ratio in compared to M works a hell of a lot better on the N. Significantly better. Is it still trying? Yeah, it's trying, right? You know it's trying. But it's a lot more subtle about it. It's it's all right. I, I, C, average. I'm okay with that. O. Now, here's the thing with O, right? Normally, dog shit. Maybe at a most a D. Right? <laughs> Elmo. No, well, it's an I, but still. <laughs> I read Elmo. Right. The thing with O is... Normally, O is nothing. Right? It's... It's fuck all. Nobody pays no mind to O's. Right? It's the, it's the literal embodiment of... When you type out, right? You don't even know if you're putting O or zero. In a lot of fonts. In a lot of fonts, it could be a zero, it could be an O. Doesn't matter. Right? It is the little definition of no hero... All zero, right? O is pretty shit. But the Times New Roman O, and I'll tell you what's different about the Times New Roman O, right? It's got that Omega look about it, right? 
most ores, 99.99999% of ores, ain't nothing. They're just a circle. That's all. 360 degree line, right? Nothing special, right? But the Omega ore, that looks pretty fucking sick, man. Yeah, it, it, you can't deny that, right? I mean, it's the God of War ore, right? You look at the God of War ore, you go, oh, that's a pretty fucking cool ore. And that's the, that's the Times New Roman ore. And now it's still in ore, but I think that bumps it up a bit. I, th I think this ore deserves to be seed here. P. We're putting P straight in here. 100%. No arguments. P is, as you, as you can see from here, right? I like, me, I like me straight pillars. I like a little curl, right? D. D is a good example of that. Why is P better than D? We're going to get to that, right? P. I can't fully explain why P is so good without jumping in to my boy R, right? R looked at P and was like, you're fucking sublime, mate, right? You're brilliant. You just need that little extra, that little extra touch, right? And that's it. And that's why P has to be A tier, right? Because you can't, you can't have P down here. Otherwise, R would be down here. And we all know R is up there, right? I'm sorry, if you disagree, you're wrong, right? R is S tier, right? You can make your argument against G. And I will debate you on G. I'll still think you're wrong, but I'll debate you on it. You try to tell me R isn't S tier, you can get the fuck out of here, right? You can unsubscribe, you can run away, you, you can fuck off, right? R is S tier, no doubt about it. And that's got that because whoever made P, right? Whoever wrote this alphabet, right? He was onto something with P. He, he went, right, principles, right? Perfect, right? Paul. Who doesn't like Paul? Everybody knows a good Paul, don't they, right? Paula as well, Pauline, right? They're all good people. I've met plenty of Pauls, plenty of Paulines, right? All, all sound people. And he went, right, P, brilliant. Done it. Perfecto. Right, but then, shortly after P dropped, someone else looked at that and was like, "No, no, 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 no!" Right, I love it, but but just have that little flick on, you know, just, and that's it, man. That that was that was when we hit perfection, right? If P is the Nissan R thirty two, right, the Godzilla, the OG, right, then R would be the R thirty four. Or oh, for me, the R33. I prefer the R33 over the R34. I know that's going to start a fucking war, but I do, right? But I know most people lean for the R34. If P is the R32, R is the R34. And those of you who know what I'm talking about with that, will fully fucking agree with that, right? Whew. Rant over, right? Let's get through this. Q. This Q, right? Normally, I like Q. Normally Q would be B, maybe even A tier. I've seen some pretty nice fucking Qs in my time, right? The thing about Q is Q... Q is what M wants to be. You know when it says M was like mutton dressed as lamb, right? Where it's like it wants to be fancy, but it's not. Q is fancy. Q is fucking royalty, mate, right? It's fucking Swaskoff diamonds, right? Q is gorgeous. This Q... Dog shit. Don't know why they've done this. The thing about a Q is, right, a Q is supposed to, it's got that little, that little curly flick, that little fanciness, that, that little fucking pizzazz, right? Pizzazz. Another brilliant reason why P deserves to be ear to you, right? And it flaunts it. It flaunts it so fucking well. Flaunt. F. See? See all these, these great words all coming from, that's not a coincidence, man. It's not. Q fucking knows it, Right? And Q deserves better than that. Q deserves a lot better because Q, Q's a fancy letter. And Times New Roman did it dirty. It did it so dirty that it's fallen from grace. I, I should have put it in A. That does not deserve to be A. That's an Omega O with a shit hanging off the back of it. And I'm, I'm not having it. It's horrible. S. Normally S's, right? Normally S's sit somewhere mid. But... This S I'm going to give an ear to you. And the reason why I'm going to give this S an ear to you is because anybody who knows me knows I fucking love reptiles, right? I've got a five foot royal python. Her name's Daisy. I love the shit out of her. I've loved reptiles ever since I was a little fucking midget running around 
you know, fucking playing with toy cars and stuff like that, right? I always wanted reptiles, always loved them. And this S, unlike normal S's, something about this S really amplifies those reptilian properties. You know, with the you got the forked tail, you got a little forked head, almost like a dragon's head, a right? or a reptile's head. And the way the way the brush strokes work with the thin into the thick, back to the the thin, right? I'm I, I'd be willing if other people said. Nah, not feeling an S. It's a C, it's a D. Fair enough, right? I totally understand it. There's nothing normally anything special about an S. The Times New Roman S, I fucking love it, man. I do. And I know exactly why, and that is a completely biased opinion. But it's my tier list. And it's going... If you if you want to fucking argue against that, right? You rank the letters of the alphabet, right? S is going for E for me. T. Now, we touched on this earlier, right? Because we were talking about the the little, the things, man, the typography things, the fucking, I know there's a word for them. I, I don't know what the word is, right? Forgive us. I'm I'm not, I'm not fucking, what is, what's even the word for somebody who does typography? Typographist, right? I know, I know I've just made that up, but I'm not a typographist, right? I don't do typography. I don't know what these, these little things are, right? But that just makes tea better. To me, T is normally D, right? You know what? I still kind of think it's a D. It's better than M, though. And it's better than I. So, yeah, it's 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 C. Okay. Yeah, if we're, go if we're putting O in there, uh, yeah, it's in line with these. It's definitely in line with these. I do think B is a little better than those. Uh, maybe B is, like, between B and C. But I still think B's average is shit, man. Like, uh, U, F. Nothing about you that I'm liking here. It's it's the thick into the thin, fucking shade, right? I'm not having it. It's it's just it looks ugly. It's ugly. It's going in F. I'm not going to talk about it. It can get away from us. V. Mm, yeah. I think V's average. Yeah, those uh, those look nice. Th those look right. I was going to put it in D. It's better than an M. It's better than an I. It's better than an E. And I think it's very fitting in C tier. It's very average. It's it's naughty. It, it's got no structural soundness whatsoever, man. Like, it's the fucking opposite of structural soundness, but it's owning it. The fact that it's so far away from structural soundness is almost a good thing, right? Like, it, it it's the rebel. It's the rebel of the letter word. Look at look at all of these, right? They're all standing up. Well, G is not, to be fair. But G is, G is dog shit. Forget about G, right? V on the other hand, he went, nah, nah, nah. I'm, I, I'm, I, my feet are in the air, right? I'm doing a fucking handstand. Right? That's that's what V did. Not even a handstand, headstand, man. Headstands are pretty cool, right? They're not like super cool, but they're, they're, they're pretty cool. You, you see somebody do them, you're like, yeah, yeah, that's pretty cool, right? In person, at least. That's what I mean by, like, averagely cool, right? You see one on a video, it's like, yeah, yeah, I've seen that before, right? You wouldn't really pay much mind if you you seen one on TikTok or something like that. You'd be like, yeah, whatever, right? But if if you were just walking down the street and some fucking geezer decided to do a headstand, you'd be looking. You'd be like, whoa, what the fuck's he doing? And that's V, you know? It's not great, not terrible. It has its moments. W, F, dog shit. There's a one simple, very simple reason as to why W is dog shit. And it doesn't even matter because that's a pretty cool looking W. I would even say that's, that's maybe even a B looking W. That's a really, really nice looking W. Problem is, it's not a W. It's a double V. Every W is a double V. Look, V, V, V. Does that look like V? You just know what I'm going. You just, you just know this, right? Look, it, it's common sense, right? Look at it. Now, the lowercase w doesn't suffer from that problem. A lowercase w, a w, is a w. But for some reason, somewhere, lost in translation, whoever wrote the uppercase alphabet in comparison to the lowercase one, maybe it was different cultures, whatever, I don't fucking know, right? I don't know the history of the alphabet, right? But somewhere, something was lost in translation, somebody double V'd it, and that has done... W, dirty, because from now on, it's going to forever remain in the cesspool of shit that is F tier. Goodbye. X. 
I'm going to give it D tier. I'm going to give it D tier for the main reason that X wants to be cool, you know? But X is only cool to kids. Like, let's think about this, right? You've got, you you know when you see those things, that's like extreme, right? But the E's taken away. Rightfully so, because E's shite, right? And it's just extreme, right? The only people who are entertained by that are kids. You could put an X in front of absolutely anything. Right, and kids would fucking go wild for it. But when you're an adult, nobody cares about X unless there's three of them, right? Nobody cares about just one X. Nobody cares about extreme, right? X is X is the kind of cool that's like, you know, the fucking what is it like school summer parties? You know what I mean? Like the end of year school parties. You got you got the Heelys and the fucking the flaming T-shirt. You got sunglasses. Your hair's spiked up. That is the embodiment of X. It's that kind of extreme. It's extreme to a child. That That's it. Right? They love it. But that's where it ends for me. That's... You grow out of X. That's what I'm trying to say. Like, you grow out of X. You start to realise that things like, oh, hell of a lot cooler. Why? Normally a why? Normally a why I'm pretty good with. If, if all these beams were the same thickness, C? Maybe B? C. But I have seen some fonts of Y that are definitely on the B tier line. This Y? Nah. D tier. In fact, I'd, maybe even... Maybe even F. Is it as bad as them? You know what? Yeah, it is. It It, it is as bad as them. It's it's not as cool as the V. It went way too overboard. It's dropped this thing on it. It's it's some weird fucking amalgamation of shit. It, the thinness, the the lack, just everything about it. I'm sorry. I I know that I haven't I haven't really validated any opinion here, but you're really looking at that and telling me I'm wrong. Be honest with yourself. Zed. I want to like Zed. I do really want to like Zed, but the problem with Zed is right. And I don't know if it's just from some pharmaceutical company that I've seen or if it's even on, it might even be on one of my medicines because I've got Zomorph. Something about that Z, the Times New Roman Z, really, really, really strongly reminds me of pharmaceuticals and medicine. And as important and beneficial as medicine is, as I've just said, I, I take it myself, I need it, right? I need it to get through the day, right? But... Some, nobody likes it. Nobody likes going to the doctors. Nobody wants medicine. Nobody wants a Z. It's data, yeah. And that's that's my final say on it, right? That's the tier list. We've got the fucking greats. Look, they're even starting to spell out great. And the wood, if these weren't so edgy. I'm not even going to bother asking you to like and subscribe this. It's, it's dog shit. It's, it's filler content. I just needed to put something out and... <laughs> Fucking sitting here, reading the alphabet, just so that and put something out for the week. It's it's bollocks, mate. By all means, feel free to dislike this video and unsubscribe from the channel for realizing that I've just fucking posted shit. It's right. Yeah, I'm done. I'm done with this. We're uploading it now. I'm I'm going away. I'm gonna go lie in bed and feel ashamed of myself. <laughs>